Okay, this is uh, going to be the first of a video series that I'm uh, basically I'm comparing it to boot camp for Foxhole. There is actually a sort of a boot camp within the uh, game itself, but it's not uh, it's not the best. It's basically you kind of run around, read some signs, and then it doesn't really give you the complete picture. So. Uh, so I think this video series might be a little bit easier for uh, new players to get through. I'm by far not an expert. My rank is only Staff Sergeant, which is still considered pretty noobish in the game, I believe. Um, but I think I know enough to be able to uh, help out some new players. So uh, this first video, I'm, I'm just going to show you the basics of getting logged in and getting to a fight. Uh, because it seems to be, you know, the main thing that people have a hard time first in the beginning is how to get to where there is a fight. So when you first log in, you'll you'll see the screen. Just click anywhere, and then click play, then click join the war, and then decide on the side uh, that you want. I'm always colonial, so I'll be clicking over there. You'll still see that even though you've already selected it, even though it says you're locked into it. So uh, don't be thinking that there is a new war every day because I think this current war has been running uh, a few weeks at least. So when you log in, you're going to see yourself here standing in front of the, the town hall and you're going to see some code of conduct reminders over here. And as you can already see, uh, there is a localized voice chat as well. This, however, is not the, the, the war. This is just a lobby. Uh, if you're a colonial, then you'll only see colonials here. If you're a warden, then you'll only see wardens here. So I'm going to actually go over here to where there's a little bit less talking. And um, if you hit M, it'll bring up a local map, meaning the regional map for the zone you're currently in. And um, this is just called over here, Colonial Home Region. doesn't have a formal name. It's just a lobby. You can't harm people here. You, you can't kill them. So people just kind of mess around while they're in here, like as in any lobby. Uh, you will see there is a basic training course up here that you can go through if you like. Um, as I mentioned before, it's basically just running through and reading signs. There's a little bit of interaction, but not too much. We're here. This is sort of indicating the, the regional base the star is. And as the legend over here indicates home base, various types of bases, uh, a win condition. Actually, I'll show you that right now. How do you win? You go to the world map. And up here, whenever, whenever you have uh, all, of the re all of the required town halls, total number of town halls uh, captured, then you win. Or at least I think that's how you win. Uh, I'm sure someone will correct me if, if I'm wrong. I've only been in two wars, and the first war was over the first day I joined it. So technically, I've only been in one war. Okay, uh, hit M again to go back, or hit Escape to leave the map entirely. So when you're here, the, only, the entire purpose of the lobby is simply to go to this structure, uh, which will open the travel map, and then hit E. And then this brings up a map of all of the various regions and lets you decide where you want to go. Uh, when you see something like this with little brackets, it means this is where there is more activity going on. But you can fast travel to any of these locations except for the ones that have the red slash to it because those are completely captured and controlled by the enemy team. So... Uh, uh, so we can't go there. You can still get there, but you would have to go here and then run up here or drive up here or perhaps here and then jump in a boat and go up the shore to get to here or something like that. Tempest Island is considered the newbie. Uh, I, I actually want to show you what this looks like, but if I click this now, it's actually going to transport us there. So instead, I'm going to escape out, hit M, go to the world map, and then click from here. And this will let you look at the regional map. So if you click the region within the travel map it won't let you see it instead it'll just make you travel there so just a little word of you know warning there so this is considered the newbie map um, it's good in that there's usually not a lot of players on here 
Um, and so it's easier for someone to sort of take you under their wing and maybe show you some of the basics. It's also sort of a sandbox. Come in here and kind of play around a little bit, experiment with stuff, and not be too concerned of, you know, the overall war. For the most part, this island is kind of ignored, but it's still a fun little island to play. Just don't expect to get in, involved in any really big fights here. It's usually going to be maybe four to max of maybe 20 people uh, on your side on this map alone. You can check to see how many people are on your active map by hitting F1, and it will only show you members from your team. So we can see right here how many people are currently in the lobby. Um, all right, so I think we'll go, it looks like most of the fighting is here. Do note the marquee. I've never seen it say anything else but this, letting you know that if there is an exclamation part or an exclamation point, like there is in a dead lens, it's because it means there is a, a wait, there's a queue. There's three players currently queued to get in there. And so this turn tends to be a really popular area to fight in. I think, um, actually, I don't know, have I even been to Inless Shore yet? Let me see what it looks like real quick. I don't even think I've been to Inless Shore. But look, the, the Colonials are represented by the green, and um, the blue is represented uh, by the, or the Wardens control any, see, any area you see in blue. Um, so they don't control much here. I guess there's a... There must be a bit of a push to try to get in there and finish them off. But actually, I'm thinking I want to go in the busy zone. Actually, I guess this is a busy zone. Friendly population high. Friendly population high. Hmm. I think I'm going to go to the Deadlands. Oh, there's a four-player queue now. I'm going to go ahead and do it, and then I'll just pause and then uh, come back once we're in. Travel in progress, and now it's going to give us a queue notice. There you go, four players ahead of you. Uh, just a little bit of warning. Sometimes these queues can take you a long time to get through, even if it's just four or five. And uh, some people will just drop out. So for that reason, sometimes you see a lot of people just kind of running around in here, goofing off, not doing anything specific. Pull out a gun, load it, shoot someone that's random. But it won't harm them because this is a lobby even though you might see some blood splatter. All right, I'm gonna pause it and come back when we're ready to enter into the Deadlands. Okay, and here we are. We just spawned into the Deadlands. And let's see, where are we? We're down here in the Salt Farms. Um, someone's placed a marker on the map up here. Set spawn. Okay. They want people to set spawn there. I don't know why. Um, this looks like home base. We got the star. As you can see, there's a, a lot of green. Uh, these, are, if you look at the reference over here, these are defensive structures. Uh, a lot of foxholes and pillboxes and um, probably some anti-vehicle turrets down here as well. Um, hmm. All right. So uh, the first thing you want to do is get equipped. So we're going to step right up to the town hall here. Press E. And uh, well, let's see. We have 146 storm rifles, but no storm rifle ammo, unfortunately. That's kind of my go-to weapon. Um, uh, I'm going to grab, grab a radio right away if you can because that's going to give you b better map intel. I'm going to do a whole video on nothing but map intel later. But for now, suffice it to say, you want a radio. So uh, once you have it in your backpack, left click it to equip it. And now when you hit M to look at the map, you're going to get a better updated version of the map. So we can see, like this guy up here, for example, we can actually see him move around the map. You see he travel from here to here. This isn't in live time, but it, it's very close. It's, uh, I think this updates every three to six seconds or something like that. So you can get an idea of what's going on where. Uh, notice you can't see everything. If, when you see this slightly transparent circle here, 
you can see activity within all of these transparent circles everywhere. That's because there is a radio tower there, or a watchtower, or let's see, what are they call these things? Um, well, I guess on here it's just a structure. And alright, someone's going with some music stand. I have to step over here. You, you will find a lot of that. Uh, I think some people just do it for a few seconds just to be funny. Some people just play it constantly, and I tend to mute those. Uh, if you hit F1, you'll get a list of all of the players on your team for the region, and then with some options. You can commend them. I'll go over that in another video. You can vote to have them kicked, and there'll be a reason why after that. You can mute them. Uh, you can mute their voice, or in this, this case, their music. Or you can mute them via text. You can also uh, run up to. You can also do it when you see them. So I don't know if it works when they're in the vehicle or not. Do you hit and hold tab and then click on them? Yeah, it's not working because they're in the vehicle. So he just got hit, and he he wasn't even really close to that vehicle. But that's just the point I made about. Staying clear of the roads and being careful when you're around vehicles. All right, uh, we, we're gonna need a weapon. Um, there's a lot to choose here. I'm gonna grab a rifle and a couple of uh, ammo clips for. Make sure you're getting the right ammo. Usually, the ammo for the related weapon is right next to it. So, rifle, rifle ammo. Uh, storm rifle, storm rifle ammo. And um, SMG, SMG ammo, you get the idea. So I'm just going to grab a couple of clips. You can usually grab plenty of ammunition at the front, assuming you don't die, because you can simply loot the ammo from other people when they die. And uh, I'll try to show that in the next video. So I think this is all I'm going to grab for now. There are no grenades, none of these. Uh, I do want to show you one more thing. So on the map, uh, there are various bases. So we're here at home base. There's, but there is an encampment here. Uh, there's one here, here. This is actually a safe house. There's one here, here, here. They're all over the place. You can set a spawn at any of these locations, provided they have soldier supplies, otherwise referred to as shirts. And you do that simply by clicking the house icon uh, for the specific base that you want to um, assign your spawn point to. So that means when you die, you're going to spawn here. So this is important, obviously, because if, if you're fighting up here and you die, you want to spawn here. You don't want to spawn way down here, in which case you're going to have to run all the way back up. Or try to hit a ride with, you know, someone that's nearby. Uh, tanks are usually not going to give you rides because they don't have room for you, but transport tr uh, transport vehicles will. Uh, I will be doing uh, videos on how to craft vehicles as well. Okay, so we have a weapon. Uh, if you hit tab, you'll see your inventory. We have our equipped radio. We already have a handgun or a pistol. We have a hammer here. We have nothing here. I really wish there was a grenade in here. Actually, I'll grab the first aid kit. These are uh, these work infinitely. Just one will do. When you click it, it'll equip here in your third slot. These are your these are your uh, quick slots. Key one, key two, key three. Uh, you can't switch these. Like you can't move the handgun to the first slot and the hammer to the third slot. They're already each item already has a specific slot for it. So the rifle, for example, if I left click it. We'll take the place. We'll take the first slot, replacing the hammer. Um, so now, if I tab and I hit one, it now pulls out the rifle. And up here in the left corner, it shows that the rifle is equipped with currently no rounds loaded. So if I hit R, then it will see a little animation, and I'm now loading the rifle. And now it says 12 to 12. If we hit tab, we now see that we have one magazine left plus the magazine that's in there. And we still have our pistol too. If I hit 2, I'll equip the pistol. And if I hit R, it'll load the pistol. I recommend always have your pistol loaded and ready because sometimes people will run up close to you 
and a rifle is too slow to fire you're not going to be able to defend against that but a, a pistol can shoot a lot more often also someone's left a revolver over here and these are actually um oh wait oh that other guy got it just before me uh, revolvers are actually pretty decent guns too but there's lots of different weapons just experiment with them you'll find what works best for your play style and for various uh, circumstances so um, I think I'm going to stop this video here we're ready we were equipped we signed we've signed the spawn point here the only thing I need to do now is decide where to go and because we have a radio we're seeing a lot of activity up here so it uh, looks like there's quite a bit of fighting maybe going on here along the tarsal pathway we can't see it because map intel is only going to here so we're not seeing what's going on here but i bet you there's a bunch of wardens up here so it looks like there's a lot of fighting going on there it looks like there might be some uh, small a little bit of fighting going on here along the cemetery junction so uh, for the sake of the video i think i'll go up here and that will be the next video and I'll just show you some of the basics of combat. Of course, I gotta get up here, so that means I gotta get running. And and it, it looks like it takes forever to get up there, but it's not really that long. The regional maps are not that huge. And uh, that concludes this video.